The new Red Dead Online roll update for the month of September has brought about four insane money bonuses and payout changes for you to enjoy, and today on the show we'll be breaking down all of the best ways to capitalize on these bonuses and make tons of extra gold and money just by playing the game this month. These are some of the best that we've seen in a while, and you can either just relax and play for your own enjoyment and still stack currency, or if you're a hardcore player, you can take the more grindy approach, and by being smart with running these missions and engaging with these activities, and also by selectively picking and choosing where to focus your efforts, you can make game-changing amounts of gold, money, and XP this month. So with that out of the way, let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Starting off, we have double gold, money, and XP on the legendary and infamous bounties in this game, plus double money and XP on the regular free roam bounties. And if you saw my video from Monday when Rockstar detailed the September changes early, they did say that we were just getting double money and XP on all bounties, those being the standard free roam ones, infamous, and legendary. But in fact, they didn't actually clarify a very important detail, and that is that we have double gold as well as money and XP on the legendary and infamous bounties, making this month even better than we we were led on by them to believe. So with that in mind, I highly recommend you start off your gaming session by getting a legendary bounty completed and out of the way. Normally, you're looking at about $175 in 12 minutes by completing a top tier bounty. And if you don't know what a top tier bounty is, we'll get into which ones are top tier in just a moment. But with double gold and double money, you're making over $350 for the same amount of time and effort put into the grind. And for that double gold reward, 12 minutes spent equates to 64 gold nuggets. So over half a gold bar for 12 minutes of work. Now, 12 minutes is that sweet spot for optimal gold, money, and XP earned in the shortest amount of time possible. This is old news for those of you out there who have been playing for a while, but with these bonuses appealing to newer players, I'd like to quickly get you up to speed. In short, the more time that you take completing missions in Red Dead Online means you'll also be getting paid more currency, whether it's gold or money. And speeding through missions actually does hurt you in the long run because you're sacrificing lots of money and gold over time, despite you actually completing more missions. Now, it does seem counterintuitive, but that's just the way the gameplay loops in Red Dead Online works out. So while I personally recommend you take the usual 12 minutes to complete these missions, ensuring you get paid the 64 gold nuggets and the $350 during a top tier legendary, you can also opt for the 30 minute method if you want, which is essentially the time and pay cap for missions in this game. If you take longer than 30 minutes to complete any mission, you will not get paid for any of that extra time past 30 minutes. The standard pay cap at 30 minutes is 48 gold nuggets, but in the case of double gold and money legendary bounties, it's 96 gold nuggets and $450. Granted, it's still one of those five-star legendary bounties that are top tier, but let's quickly break down what a top tier bounty is. There's three tiers of bounties in the game, and each tier has a different base payout. They all pay out to be the same amount of gold and money for the same amount of time spent, but the base pay differs between them, and when a bounty is double money like they are now, the base pay is amplified three times as well. So, talking about top tier legendary bounties, those refer to targets like Etta Doyle, which most players opt to hunt down for that easy farming and grinding because of the cheesing ability, basically allowing you to just wait for her to walk into you and then you can capture her without ever needing to fire a single bullet. But there's also others that are top tier like Virgil Edwards, Tobin Winfield, Red Ben Clemson, and Carmela Montes. These bounties have the highest base payout and they will result in $350 earned if you spend 12 minutes for completing the mission or $450 for spending a half hour on them. Mid-tier bounties refer to Jeanbo Finley, Yukon Nick, Philip Carlier, and the Owl Hoot family, where you also make really good money, but those are gonna pay out $400 for 30 minutes spent on their mission. And then finally, the lowest tier and pay lowest paying bounties are Barbarella Alcazar, Cecil C. Tucker, and the Wolfman, which all pay out $350 for 30 minutes spent. So hopefully there you can see how much of a difference the base payout on a bonus is gonna make. 12 minutes on a top tier bounty this month with the bonuses pays out the same amount of money as a bottom tier bounty pays out for 30 minutes. Now I'm not here to tell you what you have to play, me personally, I'll be playing all of them because it just keeps the game fresh. Also, I just get sick of hunting down Edda Doyle over and over and over like 150 times in a month, but I will do a fair share of each. Now, I just want you to know the money that you're either sacrificing or you could be making depending on which missions you choose to play. So there's that intel. But to be clear on the mission timers here, because you won't see this at the top of your screen like the other free roam mission timers have. These are hidden timers that you need to keep track of for yourself if you're looking to be efficient and do the quote unquote grind 
talking about. So I recommend getting either a timer on your internet browser or your phone ready before you begin. And your 12 minutes or your 30 minutes spent or whatever designated time you wanna take begins the moment that bell rings at the start of the mission and you gain control of your character. Now, lots of viewers ask me to clarify what I'm referring to with these timers, so I just wanna make sure you have the most detailed explanation possible. From then on, once your 12 minute timer is up, for example, and it counts down to zero, you can turn in your bounty and get paid for those 12 minutes. It doesn't need to be exactly 12 minutes, it just needs to be at least 12 minutes for that optimal golden money to the time ratio. Now, once one of these legendary bounties is completed, you will need to wait a full 48 minutes or one in-game day to start another because of the cooldown timer. And in those 48 minutes, I suggest you play two to three infamous bounties as they're also paying out double money in gold. Same strategy applies here. Spend 12 minutes on each of these infamous bounties, as 12 minutes of work will result in $70 of pay plus another 64 gold nuggets per infamous bounty mission in your pocket. All in all, this is gonna be a really good strategy for this month to maximize on cash and gold just by focusing on legendary bounties and a few infamous bounties in between the legendaries. But also, if you wanna focus on Trader and Moonshiner, go ahead. I just think that you could be sacrificing a little bit of money and gold over time because of the fact that you're not putting those towards double gold, infamous, and legendary bounty missions. But of course, of course, one thing to note with my strategy is you need to take into account loading times and the time it takes to run different bounty boards to start infamous bounties, so while we can't exactly get our grinding time down to one hour flat, one legendary bounty and three infamous bounties shouldn't take you more than one hour and change if you stick to the 12 minute method, and that means you're making over 2.56 gold bars and $567 in one hour just from the bounties. Do this for one hour a day for 30 days, and you're looking at over 76.80 gold bars and over $17,000 this month just from bounty hunting missions alone all for less time spent than would be needed for you to play through the story mode of this game. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is triple gold and money on the Bounty Hunter reward. Things clearly don't stop there because with this reward and this bonus, this is a fantastic opportunity that's gonna help you make even more gold and money this month. It's the first time we've ever seen a triple bonus on this, and that is the Bounty Hunter Award trade-in. You can find this award by going to your pause menu, going to the progress section, selecting awards, finding the Bounty Hunter role, and then looking for the Bounty Hunter role experience award in that category. Once you hit your level 30 Bounty Hunter, which is required, and of course you need to purchase the standard Bounty Hunter role for 10 gold bars, and then the 15 gold bar prestigious Bounty Hunter role, because both are discounted by five and 10 gold bars respectively, you will then unlock this reward at max level Bounty Hunter, and you can reset this award an infinite number of times, unlike the other rewards in the game, which either can't be reset, or if they can be reset, they can only be reset up to a maximum of 10 times. Now, this award requires you to accumulate 10,000 Bounty Hunter roll XP before you can reset, and your reward for resetting here is normally half a gold bar and $100 without any sort of bonus. However, with triple gold and money upon resetting this award this month, you will get paid 1.5 gold bars and $300. Now, while you're on your legendary and your infamous bounty grind, I see no reason why players can't reset this award at least once every two to three hours, and that's at an extremely casual and leisurely pace for running bounties. 10,000 XP does sound like a lot, but when these missions pay out quite a large amount of XP per mission completion, it's not nearly as much of a grind as you may think. So with that combination of everything here, I think you're in really good hands to make game-changing amounts of gold, money, and XP this month. Now we also have opportunities for triple money and XP on the Day of Reckoning and Manhunt Bounty Hunter Free Roam events, as well as the double gold, money, and XP and featured series. I'll be honest with these two bonuses, there's not much here in terms of strategy. Both are pretty solid for cash and gold with the Bounty Hunter Free Roam events offering almost $100 per match, and those last between 9 and 12 minutes, as well as the double gold on the featured series, which is normally going to mean about a 9 minute match and 48 gold nuggets. And so those opportunities are really good for players with not a lot of rolls or not a lot of gold because they can just play the featured series and get that gold fast and easy at double the rate. Now I do have a schedule of all the normal and roll related Free Roam events linked in my description, and you can use that tool to see what time these events spawn in your local time zone, no conversion necessary. But with all that being said, those were the top four best ways of making gold, money, and XP fast and easy this month in Red Dead Online for the September event. I'd love to know in the comments section what your currency grinding strategy is going to be. Mine's going to be exactly what I detailed in this video, plus some moonshine sales and keeping up with my daily challenges, and maybe just a bit of collecting while I do those infamous bounties to just top off some of my collector sets that I'm close to completing in preparation for an eventual collector month here in Red Dead Online. So with all that said, hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, 
Hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.